On this week's Tuesday Talk, we are answering a question from a viewer about storage, specifically file and data storage. How do we store all of our videos? Oh my goodness. Uh, <laughs> sorry. How do we store all our videos, all of our photos? How do we make sure it's backed up securely? Um, what do we use, et cetera, et cetera? External hard drives yes. is really what we, is, that's what it all comes down to. I initially load all my video and photos and things onto my local Windows box, back those up to an external hard drive, then we also have another uh, external hard drive, those are five terabyte hard drives, uh, for archival purposes, so if something happens to the first one, we always have a backup. Um, so as long as you have a backup of wherever you're storing the, these files, you are probably good to go. Um, the only alter uh, the exception to that is if they're both in the same place, if something happens to your rig, uh, catches fire or, or whatever, and you lose both backups because they're both physically in the same place, then you're going to have a problem. And that's where off-site storage, so um, either like Google Drive or Amazon uh, Cloud Storage, um, and those kinds of backup services where you use the internet to upload your stuff and they keep the archival backup for you, that's also another option. Or YouTube in our case. <laughs> Or, I mean, yeah, it's not going to be the raw files, but for us, all of our YouTube are videos yeah. are necessarily backed up on YouTube because that's what we do. where they are. So, yeah, so we have the external hard drives. We have two of them. One of them is supposed to stay in our fireproof safe um, at all times, which would hopefully give us a chance to get that out with all of our important documentation if something happened to the Airstream, but that's not a guarantee. Uh, photos, we back up on Amazon Prime. Amazon Prime, if you are a member, you automatically have free unlimited photo storage. So go and check that out. Unlimited photo storage. Yeah, yeah. free. <laughs> uh, if you're, as long as you're an Amazon Prime member. Um, so check that out. But like Steve said, there are other options as well, such as Google Drive and things like that. We don't put... Even Dropbox. Yeah. That works too. We don't put any of our videos out on the cloud anywhere besides except for the youtube channel like we don't have any of those backed up anywhere besides the hard drive it would take forever to upload the yeah. videos are huge and we spend <laughs> enough time trying to get our videos uploaded to youtube let alone to yeah. another source so we don't have that we just have to depend on having our <coughs> two terabyte hard drives um five terabyte hard drives by the way um for that but yeah that's that's what we do we recommend having backups obviously because you never know what might happen but uh, it works well for us. And Steve has yeah. a, is you know, the little one's a one terabyte? Two. Two. So he has a two terabyte hard drive and that's what he'll bring with him if we go travel somewhere away from his major setup in the Airstream. That's what, he'll clear that off. That's where he'll download all of his photos and everything like that and he'll keep everything there because if it's too much to keep on the computer itself. And then from there we back it up to the big five terabyte one later um, just because it's much smaller and easier to handle than the bigger one. Yeah, and these are all USB hard drives. Most, yeah. Almost Walmart, every computer has, has a Amazon. USB port, at least one. Yeah. And if you only have one and you have multiple USB peripherals, you could always buy a USB hub. You plug that into your one USB port and it has like four or eight or whatever we have uh, one USB slots. We use one of those so we can connect more peripherals to the same computer. Works great. Yeah. So hopefully that answered your question about photo and video data storage. The only other thing I might say is that we also back up some important documentation that we use Google Drive for, mostly because it's just really easy to access. So for instance, I have a lot of our paperwork, insurance paperwork, dogs paperwork, all very easily accessible on Google Drive. So if I'm ever asked for it, I can just go do 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 and I find it and I have it right there on my phone or whatever. It actually makes that sound too. It's so weird. Do -do -do -do. Do -do -do -do. Um, <laughs> so Google Drive works great for that, especially since it's free if you don't use too much data. So. Okay, I think that is it. If you have a question for a future Tuesday talk, please leave it in the comments below. If you do some type of photo or video or data backup that you really like, also leave that in the comments below because all of ours is manual. We don't subscribe to any of the services that do it for us. We don't automatically have things back up for us. I know a lot of things Though are out can, there. You can. Especially if you have a dedicated network. Yes. Just back up every night, automatic. And then works you never great. have to worry about we it. We don't have that luxury. No. <laughs> so, but um, if you have something that works really well for, our, for you, we'd love to hear about it. Uh, like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Share it if it's useful. And uh, we will see you next time. Sorry. Bye. Bye, guys.